Hey guys, it's Arika Misha and today I am cooking homemade Chinese food. Well, everything ain't homemade y'all, as y'all can see. Everything ain't gonna be homemade. But anyway, I am doing Chinese food today. Just wanted to show you guys a quick way uh, to do it at home, of how to cook Chinese food at home. Um, of course, you know it ain't gonna taste like the Chinese restaurant, but you know, you're gonna do your best to make it taste as close as you can to the Chinese restaurant. Anyway, so I uh, just wanted to show you guys how I do it and you guys know me I like to look for shortcuts quick easy ways of getting it done. So I'm not in the kitchen all day um, So as you guys can see I've got quite a bit on the table Let's start over here to the left you guys see I do have the foster farm wings um, Yes, it is the buffalo style and the sweet chipotle style um, and those come the regular chicken wings and there's like a little packet if you guys have seen my video uh, where I cook these um, and there's like a packet of the sauce that you put on the wings so the only reason why I got those wings because I want to use the regular wings I'm not going to use the sauces of course so today I'm going to make Chinese rice I'm sorry shrimp fried rice um, I'm going to have chicken wings and we have the egg rolls over there so once again, you guys will see, um, we're going to do the chicken wings, shrimp fried rice, and we're going to have egg rolls. Just the basic Chinese food. Um, I've got the eggs back here. I've got my teriyaki, my soy sauce. I've got my honey uh, garden duo here. That's the peas and the carrots. You know, that's pretty much what, what's in shrimp fried rice. I've got my onions up front here. I've got my minute uh, rice in the back back there. Quick rice done in like five minutes. Um, I love that. Uh, we've got our minced garlic up front here, star of the show, you know the parsley, he always got to show up, child. Uh, the, um, I've got some garlic salt here on the end over here. And in the back, we've got the um, chicken egg rolls, and I've got pork egg rolls back there. And I've got two large bags of extra large shrimp already pre-cooked back there. So that's the basics. You guys will see as I'm going along cooking. Um, this isn't going to be one of those quick, short, five minute videos because I have to do the rice, I have to do the wings. And hey guys, I am back. As you can see, I've started prepping my um, garden mix, which you can buy in the store it, with just the carrots and the peas because we all know carrots and peas is usually what they put in Chinese, right? So I've got my. Um, Got my peas and carrots in here. All right. I put. I did spray my pan with a little bit of oil, you know, just to give some type of some type of oil in here. Um, I am gonna add one tablespoon of butter. That's all I'm gonna add. I've got my onions all nicely chopped up. We're gonna keep this at a low heat. I don't need it high. I'm going to put in about a tablespoon of onions, actually I might do, I'm doing three tablespoons of onions, four tablespoons of chopped onions, four tablespoons of chopped onions, and I'm just going to mix this together, get it all sauteed up real quick. Basically what I'm doing is I'm getting everything cooked and prepped so that I can combine it to my rice. I've already got my rice cooked here. The rice is easy. My rice was just to, um, it's according to how much rice you're going to cook. You bring your water to a boil, then you add your cups of rice, remove it from the heat, and you just cover it up, sit it to the side, and the water, the boiling water just cooks the rice. I love that five minute rice. It's quick and easy. It's real fluffy. And it's definitely something that, um, <clears throat> excuse me, something, a rice that I love using for Chinese rice because it's fluffy and it's soft. And so, you guys see here how I got the peas, the carrots, got my onions in there. And like I said, I'm just going to saute this up. I added um, two tablespoons of chopped onions to this mix, garden mix they call it, um, and one tablespoon of butter, you know, just to help me saute it. So 
we're gonna let that gonna let that go ahead and cook you know saute itself together let me fix y'all so that's basically all I'm doing to that I'm just gonna saute that up <clears throat> get it all cooked together um, let me show you guys the rice we've already got our rice done quick easy five minute rice I love it quick and easy trying to find my light okay yep quick and easy fluffy rice done in five minutes and I cooked the entire box because I'm gonna make a lot of Chinese rice so and I also let me show you guys I also already cooked my scrambled eggs I think I scrambled about six, no, eight eggs. Scrambled eight eggs. We all know scramble, uh, sc scramble. Scramble eggs is in uh, Chinese rice. So we're pretty much cooking everything that goes into the Chinese rice. This is how I do it. Um, cooking everything that goes into the Chinese rice and then we combine it all together. So, we've got our rice done, we've got our eggs done. Now we're getting the peas and carrots and the onions all sauteed together. That's what we're doing. We add a little bit more butter. I'm gonna add another tablespoon of butter so we can get these get these onions sauteing. Get my fan on a little bit here. I'm gonna add another uh, tablespoon of butter. So we can get these um get the onions all sauteed so okay guys i'm gonna go ahead gonna finish getting this all sauteed up um i'll be back so you guys can see what we're gonna do next okay guys i'm back and we are ready to start building our rice okay so as you can see here i've got a nice big clear bowl let's go ahead and get our rice in here Dumping all my rice in my bowl. I love this quick, easy, five minute white rice. Make sure I get all of my rice, get all of my stuff. All my stuff that I paid for. Okay, make sure you guys can still see. Yep, okay. All right, so I've got all my rice in here. So I'm just gonna get my rice, you know, chopped up and separated. That's all I'm doing. Okay, so sit that to the side. Let me get a fork. Because you know how it is with rice. You definitely need that fork to help you separate it properly. Because rice can get all sticky together. So, use my fork to get this rice separated. Okay, so we've got our rice all separated. Let's go ahead and start adding our ingredients. So, I'm going to go ahead and add our mix which is the peas and carrots and our onions that I just sauteed up. Adding that to our rice. Okay, that aside, let's go ahead and add our eggs. Looking good, looking good. Get 
those all separated because they've been hanging out waiting to go in the rice okay looking good guys looking good let me zoom y'all in so y'all can see better oh yeah y'all can see i don't want to zoom y'all in too much okay all right good our rice is looking good and colorful let's mix that in get that all mixed in real good looking so good and so colorful i love it get that all mixed up yummy it's gonna be so good y'all get it all mixed up get you to mix in the bottom getting it all mixed up Ooh, that looks good that looks real good okay all right so we got that mixed up enough let's go ahead and add our soy i just have regular basic public soy sauce nothing fancy you want to get get all extra fancy you go right ahead i'm going to add as you see we have a lot of rice and we all know soy is very very salty so i'm starting with half a cup of soy just doing half a cup of soy right now definitely don't want to add a whole bunch of soy so just want to do it a little bit at a time okay so that's half a cup of soy i've already put in we just gonna mix that up get it all mixed in real good take your time and get it all mixed up Take my time and mix it all up. Make sure I'm scraping the bottom. Making sure we're getting that soy sauce all mixed in there. Make sure you guys can see. Okay. Getting it all mixed in. Oh, it smells so good. You can see you chopping your rice up because you don't want chunks of rice. So make sure you're getting that all mixed up. Picking it up from the bottom, making sure that's getting all mixed in. Ooh-wee. This is looking real good, y'all. Smelling good. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Okay. All right. Okay. I think we could do. Okay. So I've got a couple, half a cup of soy. I'm gonna go ahead and do another half a cup of soy. So that makes it a full cup of soy. So we did a full cup of soy in this. It's a lot of rice, y'all. It's a lot. So it's not too much. <coughs> This is a lot of rice. And we gotta get it mixed in real good. Let me switch to, back over to my fork. Yeah, we gotta get it mixed up real good. And like I said, this is how I do my rice, my Chinese rice. This is how I do it. Just showing you how I do it. Make sure you guys can see. that soy all mixed up in there mm, mm, mm. it smells so good so good y'all with those onions and stuff all in there mm. yes it smells so good I just want to show you guys how I'm prepping the rice how I'm fixing the rice let me taste it Oh, that's good. 
that's real good. We don't need no more soy. Now, let me show you guys what I do. I'm gonna add a cup of teriyaki, a full cup. Now, teriyaki sauce can be um, salty as well, but teriyaki is more of a sweeter, sweeter taste. So this is gonna give us, gonna give us a nice sweet Chinese taste. So, we did one cup of soy, and we're doing one cup of teriyaki. I love the teriyaki flavor. I love it. Because it's, it's kind of like the soy, but it's sweeter. It's sweeter. I love it. Now, I'm also going to do the wings. I'm going to make a teriyaki sauce for the wings. So, it's going to be teriyaki glazed wings. I love the teriyaki wings. Um from the Chinese place. I love the teriyaki chicken. I usually just get the fried wings and I get some teriyaki sauce on the side and just dip it. Cause you know that they usually don't do like the flavored wings. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna cook the wings in the air fryer and then I'm gonna make a teriyaki sauce, a teriyaki glaze sauce to put all over the wings. So. You guys will see me do that. And the key is to make sure you get this all mixed up real good. Get it all mixed up real good. Take your time. Mix it up. And I suggest you use a fork. Because the fork helps separate the rice. Helps separate the rice real good. And gets everything all mixed real good for you. Look at that. Look at that rice. Mmm. Hold on, y'all. Look at that rice. Look at it. Let me give it a taste. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. That is really good. I'm going to take y'all in so y'all can see it. You can see it real good when I zoom you in. I'm telling y'all. It tastes better than the Chinese restaurant. Y'all know me. Better than the Chinese restaurant. Mine tastes better than theirs. Better. All right, so you guys saw what I did to the rice, my white rice. I cooked a full box, uh, scrambled eggs in there. I've got eight scrambled eggs in there. Uh, the garden mix, which is the peas and carrots. You can buy that at the store, just the peas and carrots together. Um, I chopped in, um, I put in four tablespoons of chopped onions in the peas, sauteed that, add that to my rice. You guys saw how I did that. One cup of soy, one cup of teriyaki sauce. It's a lot of rice. So that, that soy and the teriyaki together, amazing. Now, watch what I do next. I'll be back, guys. Okay, so it's time to make my teriyaki sauce. Um, I have, um, I put in here about, i say about four tablespoons of butter. Let me zoom you guys in so you guys can see better. Got about four tablespoons of butter in there. Let me see if I can get you guys a better angle. One second. Okay. All right. There we go. Okay, so I've got about four tablespoons of butter in here. Get my stove on. That might help me out a little bit. Okay, so we've got about four tablespoons of butter in here. All right, we're going to go ahead. Putting in about, let's see. I'm gonna put in some garlic. Got some minced garlic here. It's about two tablespoons of minced garlic. Don't wanna put too much garlic because you know garlic is strong. So I've got that in there. Let me see here. All right, so we wanna get this melted. Got our butter and garlic in there. Get that all melted up. I'm gonna let these two melt a little bit and then I'm gonna add my honey and my teriyaki sauce. It's simple, nothing fancy. I've got the four tablespoons of butter, um, two tablespoons of minced garlic in there. Just a simple teriyaki sauce I made up. Nothing special, guys, I mean, but it is a good sauce. It tastes good. It's a sweet teriyaki sauce. I'm going to use this teriyaki sauce, uh, making this 
teriyaki glaze for the shrimp. Once I make this glaze, because our shrimps are already cooked and I don't want my shrimp to, to shrink. So I'm gonna make this glaze for the, the teriyaki for the shrimp. All right. Let's go ahead and get our teriyaki sauce in there. I am looking for my measuring cup, which I think I probably cleaned and put away. Give me one second, guys. Let me get that pulled out. Oh, I didn't. It is over there on the table. Okay. Okay, so. I've got some chopped onions here as well. I'm gonna go ahead and put those in there. That's about two tablespoons of chopped onions. Add those to our mix. All right, let's get those all sauteed together. Got our garlic, got our onions, butter. Nice teriyaki uh, sauce. Homemade. Okay. Wanna get these onions sauteed a little bit more. So we're gonna go ahead and let that happen. All right. After those get through sauteing, I am gonna add the teriyaki sauce. I'm gonna do a full cup of teriyaki sauce and I'm gonna do the rest of my honey here. You guys will see that. Looks like it's a half a cup of honey. The honey is to help make the teriyaki sauce sweet. You know, to give you that sweet taste. That's all that is for. And you know the onion, <coughs> excuse me, the onion and the garlic, that is for flavor. To give it some flavor. So. Right, just wanted to come and show you guys the little quick sauce I'm making. All right, that is smelling good. Ooh, wee, that is smelling good. That garlic and onion together, and that butter. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, you guys can see that. Smells so good. Let me get my fan on. My low fan on here. Oh yeah. We want to make sure we get those onions all nice and cooked and sauteed up first before we add our teriyaki sauce so it don't take them long that butter helps them cook fast anyway mm, 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 mm. smells delicious all right gonna let those cook for a second there Get ready to add our teriyaki sauce and our honey to this little quick glaze I made up. Okay, all right, our onions look like they all ready. They all cooked up. Mm -mm -mm. And this is just the base for our sauce for our teriyaki sauce, just a little base. All right, so let's get our teriyaki in here. I'm doing a full cup of teriyaki, a full cup. This is one cup. One full cup of teriyaki. All right, let's get that honey in there. And like I said, this is like a half a cup of honey. And the honey is to just give you the sweetness that you want. Helps give that teriyaki sauce some sweetness. Mm, mm, mm. Use any kind of honey you want. Cut this heat down. Cut it down to a low heat. I don't need it high. Get all my honey, get all my stuff that I paid for, get that all out. Yep, all my stuff. Just gonna mix that all together. 
that honey is gonna thicken it up because you know honey is thick mm -mm -mm. and I've got my heat low I've turned my heat down to a low heat get this all mixed up real good and I'm gonna give it a taste to see if there's anything I need to add I doubt it but I'm gonna taste it anyway Oh, that's good. That is delicious. I didn't think I needed to add anything else to it. I didn't think so. And as you can see, it's just a simple glaze. It's just an easy, simple glaze, you guys. Teriyaki, it's sweet, a little salty. It's like a sweet, salty kind of taste, you know. We add that honey to make it sweet. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Gonna cut that heat off because it's hot enough for us. Now I'm going to add my shrimp. Let me get the rest of my honey out of here. I still got some honey left in here. Let me get the rest of that. Rest of that honey out. Okay. All right. I got all my honey. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and add my shrimp. I do not want to cook these shrimp. I do not want to cook them. Let me add a little parsley. Y'all already know the star of the show got to come and show out. He got to show up, child. Every time I'm doing something, he got to show up. Every time. So, all right, got the parsley flakes in there. Get those mixed up. Now this is just the glaze for our shrimp. I don't want to cook my shrimp. They are already cooked. You guys will see what I'm going to do. Alright, got this all mixed up. Now, let's add our shrimp. Hold on. Get the shrimp in here. all that shrimp you guys know i love shrimp so we are doing a lot of shrimp gotta have a lot of shrimp especially in shrimp fried rice Duh. gotta have a lot of shrimp so the only thing i've got my heat off the only thing i want to do with this glaze i already of course i already cleaned my shrimp and everything so only thing i want to do with this glaze make sure you guys can see oh yeah I just want to toss my shrimp around, just, you know, fold them over in the, in the glaze, in the teriyaki sauce. That's all I'm doing. We're not cooking the shrimp. They already cooked. So, and the more you cook your shrimp, the more they're going to shrink. We definitely don't want that. So, I like to keep my shrimp the size I buy them. So, we're just going to mix these shrimps up in here real quick. Get them all folded in our teriyaki sauce. Yes, it is looking yummy. With that garlic and onions. Oh, these shrimps are looking good. Looking so good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yep. And I'm just going to let the shrimp sit in our sauce so it can soak in all the goodness of the sauce we finish folding them over bringing that sauce over and pouring it on top of my shrimp you guys can see how I'm doing that just mixing my shrimp up over there making sure everybody got some sauce okay all right so we've got our shrimp and our teriyaki sauce i'm gonna go ahead and let those just sit there guys and marinate and i'll be back with the next step guys 
Okay guys, let's go ahead and get our rice prep. I'm gonna show you guys how I do my rice. You already saw how I get my rice together. I showed you everything, so now this is what I'm gonna do. I've got my nice big Gotham pan here covered in aluminum foil, you guys know how I do. Now, I'm gonna go ahead, lay my rice down in this pan. You'll see. Go ahead and get my rice all. Scoop all my rice out. You guys will see what I do and how I do it. And once again, let me point out, this is how I do my Chinese rice. This is how I do it. Everybody cooks different. Just showing you guys how I do it. We've already tasted our rice. We already know it tastes delicious. We already know that for a fact because we tasted it. All right. Okay. Alright, so now we've got our first layer of rice here. Let's get that spread it out all evenly in our pan. You guys are going to see what I'm going to do. Okay. Okay, so, alright, we've got our first layer of rice down. Let me put some more over here on our sides. This is why I use this big pan because I know I've got a lot of rice. Okay. Okay. So, all right. You guys see? I'm going to bring y'all in more so y'all can see. I've got that first layer of rice down. Now, we are going to add shrimp to this. We've got our shrimp all nice and in that teriyaki glaze. We've got it all in there. So I'm going to go ahead, just going to lay my shrimp over the rice. We've got tons of shrimp guys, tons of shrimp. And they're still nice and big, they have not shrunk because we didn't cook them, they already cooked. You guys saw how we did that. Alright, just going to get our shrimp all layered out here. Let me do this with my hand so it's faster. Just laying our teriyaki glaze shrimp all over this rice. This is gonna be delicious. And this is why I have tons of shrimp. Cause you guys know we love shrimp. Gonna cover it in shrimp, shrimp, shrimp. Oh, and these shrimp taste so good. Yes, I did taste one. Yes. Y'all know I taste one. Or, or two. I had a couple. Okay, I had a couple. But, you know, I had to make sure they taste good for the family, you know. The cook always eats first. I know I do. So, by the time we eat dinner, sometimes I be full already. I be nothing ate up. The food. Once again, I got to taste the food and make sure it tastes good for the family. Alright, y'all see? Y'all see how we just put shrimp all over this thing. Layers and layers of shrimp. Look at that, guys. Covered in shrimp. Covered in shrimp. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all can't tell me that don't look good. I know it do. Now, we're going to go ahead. We're going to add that second layer of rice. And then we're going to put the rest of our shrimp on top of the rice. Two layers of shrimp fried rice. This is how I do it, y'all. And I'm going to cover it with aluminum foil. And I'm going to put it in the oven. Yes, I'm going to cover it with aluminum foil. 
I'm gonna put it in the oven. That way, everything can get all smoked and baked in, and your rice can get all those flavors all soaked in. And yes, you know how when you bake something and you cover it up, yeah, you give it, you're giving it that opportunity to soak in all the flavors and all the goodness. Spread our rice around here. This is that second layer of rice. That's it for our rice. We got it all in. Move my bowl to the side. All right. Got that looking good. Looking all nice and yummy. Mm mm mm. Y'all see it. I know y'all see all the goodness. Now, let's get the rest of that shrimp on top. Let's get the rest of our shrimp on top here. Like I said, we've got tons of shrimp. We're gonna wrap this thing up and put it in the oven. I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees, nothing special. And I'm gonna put it in the oven for about, eh, about 20 minutes, maybe 30, about 30 minutes. Just give everything time to soak in and let everybody meet everybody and all our flavors to get all steamed into our rice and our shrimp. I'm telling y'all, y'all can't tell me this don't look good. I know it look good because I'm ready to eat right now. Ready to eat right now. Ooh, look at it. Mm, mm, mm. Get them shrimp down. Wait, I got one more shrimp in here. Hold on up. Hold up. All right. Now, you guys see that teriyaki glaze juice we got left in there? I am. I am going to drizzle some over our rice. I'm going to drizzle that over our rice. Because all that's going to bake in. All that goodness. See? That's going to bake into our rice. Mm-hmm. Spreading that around. Look at that. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Ooh, that's gonna be good. Mm-mm-mm-mm. That's gonna be delicious. Ooh, wee. All right, let me get my hands washed off here. And I'm gonna get y'all in there so y'all can really see. Look at it. Mm -mm. Y'all know I gotta take y'all in so y'all can see. Zoom y'all in. Let me see how all the garlic and um, garlic and the onions are sitting on top of the shrimp for where I poured that teriyaki sauce we made on top. Y'all see it? All right, let me move y'all over. Move y'all over here. I'm gonna keep y'all zoomed in. We will add the star of the show last. We're gonna add him last. Let me zoom y'all back out after we get it cooked up. Once again, I'm gonna go ahead and get this wrapped up, guys, in aluminum foil, and I'm gonna put it in the oven, 350 degrees. I'm gonna put it in there about, you know what, I'm gonna do about, it's a lot of rice, a lot of shrimp. I'm gonna do about, but see, the reason why I wrap it up, I forgot to tell you guys, this is important. The reason why I wrap it up with aluminum foil, because if I leave it open like this, the rice gonna get all hard. We don't want that. So, we're going to put aluminum foil over so that that steam keeps everything all soft and juicy. Keeps our rice all nice, soft, and juicy, and delicious, and sh sh yeah, Ooh. Okay, let me get this wrapped up, because y'all know I'm greedy. Let me get this wrapped up, get in the oven, guys. I'll be back. Now, when I come back, we got to get those chicken wings done. We got to get our egg rolls done. We still got a whole lot of cooking to do, guys. I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm just taking the rice out the oven. It is hot, hot, hot. As you guys can see, it is steaming hot. I'm telling you, that rice is all hot and bothered. It is smoking. Oh my God. Oh, look at it. Oh my goodness. Mm, mm, mm. Let me bring y'all over here a little bit so y'all can see better. Take y'all in. Y'all can see that rice. It's smoking hot. It is so hot. Mm, 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 mm. Give y'all a good, 
good look at it here. Let me get y'all adjusted. Oh yeah. Take y'all into that rice so y'all can see the goodness. Look how everything is all smoked out with the teriyaki flavors. Oh, look at those shrimps. Mm, mm, mm. They all nice and toasted brown. You can see the onions that we chopped up all over the rice. Oh, yes. Mm, mm, mm. It smells so good in here. It smells like a Chinese restaurant on a Friday night. Mm, mm, mm. All right, that's the rice, y'all. So let's get on over. Let's get these wings done, these egg rolls done. I'm telling you better than a Chinese restaurant. Look better, smell better than the Chinese restaurant. Y'all ain't gotta tell me, I already know. All right, let me get the egg rolls and the chicken done. Let's get that done, y'all. And we gonna be finished and we gonna be ready to eat. Cause the children already hovering. They ready to eat. Mm, mm, mm. All right, y'all, I'll be back. Okay, it's time to get our egg rolls together. And I have pork egg rolls pork egg rolls and I also have chicken egg rolls can't have Chinese food without egg rolls and I love egg rolls I love egg rolls I love dipping them into like a teriyaki sauce or sweet and sour sauce and you see the little packets of sauce come with it I love that so and we got four to a box and it's sweet and sour sauce that comes with it so i will put those in some hot water so we can get those melted up now of course you guys know i have my aluminum foil down i've got it sprayed with oil we are going to cook these bad boys in the air fryer they gotta go in the air fryer we gotta put them in the air fryer so they can taste delicious Okay, these are the pork egg rolls. I'll put these up top so I know which one is which. Put the pork up top and the chicken at the bottom. These look really good. And they've got the two packs of sweet and sour sauce also. So. Mm, mm, mm. I cannot wait to eat these. Alright. Okay. Chicken egg rolls. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Alright, so. Got all our egg rolls in there. I'm going to spray the top of my egg rolls, of course, to help everybody cook. And we're going to put it in our Emeralagossi air fryer. All right, let's get up here and see what Emerald's talking about. Okay, Emerald. All right. Automatically it sets himself at 370. For 15 minutes we're gonna go ahead and let him do that I'm gonna come back I'm gonna come back in about five minutes just to check on them and see where they're at so all right guys I'm gonna go ahead and let these cook up I'll probably do like five minutes on each side maybe ten and then flip over for five I don't know but I'll let you guys know how long they took so I'll go ahead and let these cook up once we get these egg rolls done we got to move on to our chicken wings yes all right y'all I'll be back Okay guys, the egg rolls are done. And you know what? They actually took five minutes on each side. Total of 10 minutes. Five, I flipped them over and did them for another five. Guys, look at those egg rolls. Chicken and pork egg rolls. And they smell so good. I ain't cook these, y'all. I ain't make them. I just, you know, cooked them in the air fry. But they look like they're going to taste better than the Chinese place. Better. Better than the Chinese restaurant. All right, guys, that's the egg rolls. Let's go ahead and move on over to last but not least, our chicken wings. Let's go. 
Okay, guys, moving on to the wings. All right, let me show you guys. These are Foster Farms. These are my new favorite wings. Me and the girls, we love these, these chicken wings. Foster Farm, guys, crispy wings. They are really good. All right, and basically how they come, they come with, you know, just the chicken wings all already cooked. They just froze them. Uh-oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> all you got to do is just um, put them in an the air fryer. See, they're already frozen. I got my oil. Y'all know I got my oil down there. Spraying my chicken with my oil to help it cook. And it comes with the, this is the sweet chipotle barbecue. And the packet comes with it. And that's what I like about it, how the wings are separate from the sauce. So you can put the sauce on it or not. So I'm going to go ahead. I've got one sweet chipotle and I've got one uh, buffalo. So I'm going to go ahead. We're going to have the, I'm going to go ahead and use the sauce that came with these. The sweet chipotle barbecue sauce for one set of wings. And then I'm going to do the buffalo for the other wings. Still Chinese y'all. It's still Chinese. Uh, but that's how we're going to do the wings. So over here to Emerald Lagosi. Got him over here. You know how he does. Presets this up to 370 for 15 minutes. Now, the thing with these wings, let me get that time down. I've already, I have already know how long they take. Uh, we're gonna do 10 minutes, then we'll flip them over for the other five minutes. That's how we doing the chicken wings, y'all. Getting these chicken wings cooked up. So, getting the chicken wings done, I'm gonna get the sauce on them, guys. So when I come back, y'all gonna see the complete meal. The, the shrimp fried rice, the egg rolls, and the chicken wings. When I come back, y'all, the final cut I'll be okay guys this is it this is the final cut we've got our shrimp fried rice over here and as y'all can see my spoon is ready to dig into it yes y'all see the spoon it's ready and we've got our egg rolls over here chicken and pork egg rolls and I went ahead with the buffalo sauce that came with the wings I went ahead and did the wings buffalo and I also did the Chipotle barbecue wings. Yep. I went ahead and did it that way. Now I know y'all don't see buffalo wings and Chipotle wings at a Chinese place. But that's okay. They wings. So wings and things. That's what we got. So alright guys. You seen me do it. So you know I did it. Alright. Y'all know I'm finna hurry this up. Because I'm ready to go eat. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media, Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, knowledge is power. All right, guys, bye.